Sub Pump Skeleton Smooth Singer 422, and welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Team. Last time we left off, um, yeah, there was a crazy bus driver that for some reason drove the bus straight into a freaking mall, and us as Maria and Tomoe, Maria had to perform her first responder skills on like a bunch of patients and um Tomoe used her endoscopic uh techniques to help find some more victims throughout like some rubble and you know all that stuff so I didn't like that part but it's all good <laughs> anyway uh let's see so I've been trying to play this in order, like in order order now. So I think what we have to do is... Um, let me see. Together. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... Yeah, we did... Resolution, and now we need to do Together in Spirit. There we go. I hope this should make sense from the last episode. This award is given in recognition of honor and valor. Balls. <laughs> Look at Maria. Such dignity. Indeed. I'm sure recent events have helped her mature. <laughs> do you both seriously think that? You really don't know that girl, do you? Yeah! That's right! I'm the hero! Wow. Are you kidding me? Dang. See? People don't change that easily. <laughs> Perhaps we should head back as soon as possible. <laughs> I agree with that. Follow her lead and we'll all save lives. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, Tomoe's mission. Good job, Maria. Way to, way to be humble. <laughs> if that's a love letter to me, stop. I'm still married. Dang. Oh, are you awake? No, I'm writing a letter to my father. Really? What, did you guys come to a truce or something? <laughs> Isn't it normal for a child to want to talk to her parent? Ah, uh, you wouldn't know I about that. So. It's kind of creepy when you put it that way. Ever since I left the Tachibana home, I've strained myself. to be known for my own strength, not my family's. Hmm. But I've come to realization. No one grows up all at once. Instead of acting like someone you're not, do your best. And work your way towards being the adult you want to be. That's the moral of this story, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez, what kind of kid are you? That's how life is. That proves you've grown. Good for you. Try to take it easy from now on. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm kind of thirsty. How about getting me a coffee? Dr. Cunningham, relying on others is not the way of honor. <laughs> you must do what you can to help yourself. <laughs> you just said that people shouldn't be straining themselves. I don't know if I could ever date her. No. She just, she annoys me. Does it hurt? Oh, you idiot! Are you 
you trying to kill me? Oh. oh I'm sorry. Are you alright? Oh. Don't touch me. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Not at all. <laughs> if it hurts, then it must be examined. Does it not? Just leave me alone. It seems I'm a doctor. Be a I can examine <laughs> myself. Just don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty funny, actually. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, let's see. So last on the list, we should have... Going Away. I thought you'd be here. The chief told us. Is it true? I've decided to file for divorce. I'm leaving Lisa. She'll get custody and, and I'll be a bachelor again. Wow. Then what are you going to do? <laughs> After I leave here? I haven't really given it much thought. I'll just go retire somewhere and open up a rustic clinic. Well, we're all going to miss you. Tomoe, Maria, <laughs> even the kid. <laughs> Don't give me that. You guys will replace me in no time. Well, we'll find another diagnostician, but... Gabriel! Old soldiers don't die, Hank. They just... fade away. See you again sometime, okay? What the heck? Greetings, Doctor. Oh boy, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. We're finally nearing the conclusion of this game. I have confirmed that all episodes for every Doctor have been completed. The episode Patient Zero is now available for play. Okay. Well, let's just go see what Patient Zero is. Oh, so they're all patient zero. It's an event. Okay, cool. Okay. Man, what is up with these game with this game and butterflies? Okay. <laughs> Run the. F oh no. This must be patient zero. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, what the heck? And no one sees this, huh? Okay. Someone's collapsed. Someone get help. Call for an ambulance. Yeah, I think it's too late for that. You might want to call the coroner. What is going on? Oh, they're all infected now?
What the heck? Oh, so... I guess the next... The next thing would be... Mar I guess they're gonna make us do everyone's in order now. But which is cool with me. I won't have to freaking figure out who goes first and who goes... You know, second, third, fourth, and so forth. So finally... We're gonna be playing in the exact order that we need to be playing, so... Let's see if we could try to get one, maybe two, but definitely we're going to be getting this one for sure. A, A ghost? ghost? So, you're saying these accidents are this girl's fault? Hmm. That's an unscientific conclusion. I never said any of that stuff was her fault. But she did say something about a beginning. Right, but what's beginning? Ugh, how should I know? Hmm. It's rather hard to believe this all of a sudden. Ghosts do exist. Illusions are more likely to be seen in times of deep stress. And this is the first time I've seen her interact with one like of the other characters. Seeing an oasis, you want to see it. You, I remember you from the bombing. I believe I haven't introduced myself yet. Yeah. I'm Naomi Kimishima. I'm a researcher at CIFM. And Naomi, what did you mean earlier? In other words, the ghosts exist for those who see them. In the viewer's mind, that existence is an undeniable truth. Hmm. So that means we need to give Maria some time off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Have I been working her too hard? Damn it. Stop making fun of me. In any case, you're... You are the only one who can know the truth you saw. You should at least remember that. Chief! What is it? Dispatch is calling for paramedics to get to Portland. A lady's passed out in the transit center. She's bleeding out. Oh, God. Hank and Maria, get there. Emma, Darnell, prep the OR. Roger that. Understood. We're from Resurgum First Care. Give me a status report. I, I don't know. The, the train arrived and she collapsed. No help here then. Oh well. I've got an ID. Jennifer Blair, a 32-year-old woman. It seems she boarded this train in Boston for business. Check her record for chronic diseases. I'm treating her. Oh God, I have a feeling this is going to be the struggle. We don't even know what the heck she has. It's probably Rosalia and it's going, I can tell you right now, it's gonna be some freaking supernatural disease that like is probably gonna like rush from one end of the body to the other or something. And it's like not going to make any sense in any medical like history known to mankind so i'm probably gonna die a couple of times or at least not die but lose so without any further ado <laughs> oh what is that Of course they'll be late. What? Why? We need more people right now. How about we send a helicopter or something? There's been a tunnel accident somewhere else. We'll have to keep people stable until they arrive. Okay. Damn it, what a pain. Anyway, let's examine the patients. We have to at least give them first aid. <laughs> All we can do is keep the vitals stable, though. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Better at the moment. Are the paramedics here yet? Excuse me! 
another person's fallen ill over there. Oh god. I can't leave this area. Bring him over here. Alright. Uh-oh. What is that stuff? What the heck? This isn't good. Something's not right. I know that. All we can do is treat what we can right now. Line the patients up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's stabilized. I'm examining the next patient before it's too late. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. She suddenly ran a mug and slammed through a display window. What the heck? I don't know what triggered it, but she's in critical condition. This hemorrhaging's bad. I'm gonna start with the hemostasis first. Oh god. That's a long one. All right, well, we'll do that a little later. What's this guy's deal? He's coughing up blood. There's some hemorrhaging from his arm too. He has fractures in his left arm and right leg as well. What in the world happened? What in the world? Nothing would surprise me at this point. Let's just start treating him. Okay. Cool. Laceration itself isn't that deep. Starting immediate hemostasis. I'm treating lacerations. Are the other people all right? Ugh. It's been pretty bad. I have to reload. All right. Let's just make sure these guys are stable. Oh god. Okay, now you. Uh oh. Okay, now you. Let's go ahead and get these clothes cut out, cut off of you. Alright. Okay. This isn't so bad. Her arm? What's wrong with her arm? This looks bad too. I gotta get her clothing out of the way first. Alright, well I'll do that. As soon as I look at this person. Doing great. Just secure it right away. Okay. Left arm's been treated. Moving on. 
Alright, we'll move on. Let's just get this over with. I have other patients to look at. Okay. Wow, that's it? Okay, well, let me boost your vitals before there's nothing more I can do with you. Um, let's start over. Okay. Alright, now let's get back to this guy. Cool, cool, cool. Tourniquet. Cool. I finally figured out the freaking tourniquet. I remember before, a couple episodes ago, where I was like struggling because I didn't know. You have to line up the cursor with the friggin' dots. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Cool, that's good. Another tourniquet? Okay. This should be it, right? Let's get this IV. Okay, gotta hurry and start the transfusion. Any work from the paramedics? Please, please let there be work from the paramedics. Good. Oh my gosh. That was pretty easy though. Easy peasy, seriously. Okay. What in the world's going on? I hope that's the end of it. I don't know. I still have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, so do I. Okay, I'll leave the rest to you. Cool. Is that the last one? Uh. Hey, you. We're not sure if it's over, but the people are. Oh God, what is wrong with this guy? Uh. Hey, what's wrong? What the heck? Oh. Someone get over here. Hey. Oh my gosh. What? I can't hear you. Speak up. Anyway, I don't know what's going on, but this isn't normal. Call up the CDC. Have them declare a state of emergency. We already did. It's also in Peaks and Shabig. We can't explain it. Listen up. Once your backup has arrived, immediately... Huh? Oh, it got cut off. 
Maria, I need a hand. Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh my gosh, bodies everywhere. This is definitely a state of emergency. Holy cow. Okay, um, yeah, so I feel like this is a perfect, perfect way to end this, uh, this episode. This is a pretty dark cloud that's looming over, uh, over this, um, this game. I'm trying to think of what to say, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not good. This is definitely the, the precursor of what's to come and it looks pretty ominous so i guess the next the next time in the next episode we're going to be doing gabriel cunningham's mission so i think it's pretty interesting that finally we're going to just have some some order as to you know how we're going to be playing each character and you know what each character is going to be doing to help to help out and trying to either treat this illness or trying to figure out exactly what it is and hopefully find a cure anyway i hope y'all have a great day slash night as always i really really do appreciate you guys watching and uh adios home skillets <laughs>